Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very exponential equation. <laughs> we have exponentials on both sides. e to the power x minus 1 equals x to the power 1 over ln x. Not only exponentials, but it's also kind of logarithmic. Now, this kind of looks like a complicated equation, doesn't it? I mean, first glance, right? You, you look at something like this. How do you proceed? We have an e on the left, like e to the power something, and we have a different base on the right-hand side, and the base is a variable. The exponent is also a variable, which is logarithmic, or maybe inverse logarithmic, or something like that. Anyways, reciprocal. So, but don't be discouraged, because this problem is actually fairly easy to solve if you know the trick. I'll show you the trick here, okay? So how would you proceed such a problem? First of all, uh, you can just maybe natural log both sides. That would probably be reasonable, right? Let's do that. So my as my first approach, I'm going to ln both sides. And ln is a good choice here, I think, because of the e and the 1 over ln x in the exponent. So if you ln e to the power x minus 1 and ln x to the power 1 over ln x, then from here, by moving the powers to the front, you'll get x minus 1 ln e equals 1 over ln x times ln x. Now the right hand side is actually pretty interesting, which is going to end up being an identity in certain situations. We'll talk about those. But basically ln x cancels out. Of course, you need one stipulation. ln x should not be 0. In other words, x should not be 1, right? Because if x is 1, then we get 0 to the power 1 over 0. Uh oh, it's not 0 to the power 0. It's not going to be 1 too bad. It's undefined. Now, ln e is 1, so this is cool. That gives us x minus 1 on the left, and that's equal to 1. Great, that was easy. Add 1 to both sides, x equals 2 will be the solution. Right? Is that the only solution? Well, looks like we could only find x equals 2 by using the first method at least. But let's see if we can approach this problem a little differently. Guess what? We're going to look at a graph at the end, which will hopefully, you know, confirm our ideas. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And we have e to the x minus 1, again, equals x to the power 1 over ln x. Okay. Now, instead of learning both sides, we could maybe do some type of conversion. What do I mean by that? Uh, you could call ln x something. How about substitution? I would say conversion, but then I changed my mind. I think it'll make this will make more sense. Let's go ahead and set ln x equal to t. This implies because the base, the hidden base is e here, e to the t. Remember that? that? Remember that rule? e to the t equals x. So e to the t, let's just write it down, right? e to the t equals x. So let's go to make all the substitutions. x will be replaced with that, and ln x will be replaced with that. So e to the power x minus 1, and I want to replace x with e to the t minus 1. Cool. x will be replaced with e to the t, and then that is raised to the power 1 over t. Uh-oh, t cancels out again. Something interesting happening here. Something always cancels out. Great. Now we have an interesting equation. e to the power, e to the power t minus 1 equals e to the power 1. A very, very exponential equation, right? A lot of e's. And the bases are equal, so are the exponents. From here, we get e to the t equals 2. And if you natural log both sides or just use the definition, t becomes ln 2. Great. Maybe not so great because we didn't get the same thing. Wait a minute. What is t? t is ln x. Oh, great. So let's rep replace t with ln x. ln x equals ln 2 implies x equals 2. So what is going on here? Right? You might be questioning like, what the heck is going on? All right, let's go ahead and look at another approach because I just thought of something else. e to the x minus 1 equals x to the power 1 over ln x. Now, I used substitution. I used logging both sides. Let's do something different. Maybe I can convert x to e because notice that we have an e on the left. So the bases are different, but I can set them equal. 
In other words, x can be written as e to the power ln x, right? That's an identity. And now if you plug it in, we get e to the power x minus 1 equals x, which is e to the ln x. And then I raise it to the power 1 over ln x. Uh-oh, that is the secret sauce. We can go ahead and cancel out the ln x again. See, it always something cancels out. This gives us e to the x minus 1 equals e. And then this is 1. x minus 1 equals 1 and x equals the same idea. Uh, just approach differently. Now, what is going on on the right-hand side? Okay, so we have something like x to the power 1 over ln x, and it turns out to be a e constant, right? Except for x equals 1. Of course, if x equals 1, it's undefined. But why is that turning into e? Let's think about it really deeply, right? Uh, there's something called change of base. So that's what we're going to look at. 1 over ln x can be written as ln e over ln x and then by using the change of base in the opposite direction like on change of base you can write this as log x or base x of e how do you say that log with base x of e or log e with base x it's kind of weird anyways now let's go ahead and replace 1 over ln x with that we get x to the power log e with base x and now why is this equal to e? Because we have the special rule that says abra, kadabra, hocus pocus. When the bases are the same, they cancel out, leaving us with e. Hmm, interesting. So we can generalize this problem, or I should say property, and write it as follows. If you have a to the power log b with, come on, log b with base a, then the a's cancel out because they're both bases and we end up with v. And this is actually easy to prove because you can kind of set this equal to x and then log both sides with base a. If you do that, this is going to move because now it's a power. You're going to get log b with base a times log a and then that's going to be log x with base a. Log a with base a, this is 1, so we can cross it out and from here we get log b with base a and and equals log x. And now since the bases are the same, the, the arguments are supposed to be the same, so x equals b, which means this expression equals b, which is what we actually found with three different methods. So hopefully you are convinced by now that the right-hand side is equal to e. So that's kind of like a simple equation in a disguise. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you the graph tada from Wolfram Alpha great so this graph is really nice because it shows a horizontal line which is y equals e which intersects y equals a e to the x minus 1 at x equals 2 which is the only solution to this equation and this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.